here in Mishiri. And when the Sabbath had come, he began to teach in the synagogue. And many, many hearing him were astonished, saying, where did this man get these things? And what wisdom is this which is given to him, that such mighty works are performed by his hands? Is this not the carpenter, the son of Mary, and brother of James, Joseph, Judas, and Simon? And are not his sisters here with us? So they were offended at him. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we thank you for the reading of the word. I pray that, Lord, I desire no glory for myself, but I desire that you take all the glory. Father, I know that you desire to speak to your people. I hereby avail myself as a vessel that you can use to speak to your own people. In the name of Jesus, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. For the first four weeks, uh, there was this message. This message that I will be preaching. And it was very heavy upon my spirit. I've, I've, uh, I don't think I've ever preached any message that the Lord laid in my heart so strongly like this one. Hallelujah. Amen. So I, I, I thank God because I, I know what it means. Hallelujah. Amen. And I pray that I will do as he has given me to do. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So from where we have read, the Bible says, he came to his own town. And the, Bible says, and the Bible says he began to do many things. And he began to teach. And they marveled at his wisdom. They said, Where does he take such kind of things? Such mighty works. Because through his hands, we see miracles happening. They said, what is this? But when they continue, the Bible said they were offended. They said, is this not the son of the carpenter? It's, it's not his brother's shield. It's not, it's not this, the one who... We have, we have his parents, we have his brothers. And the Bible says he was offended. The New Living Translation says they were very offended. This is the topic of the message. Do you know what you are doing? These people, they were always coming to church. Every Sunday they were in church. Say it 
the demon. That is why the Holy Spirit said, I'm asking. Do you know what you are doing? Do you know what you are doing? This is not my message. This was not my message. For the past four weeks, the Holy Spirit has impacted in my heart. It was like a pattern in my spirit. You must go and ask my people. Do they know what they are doing? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Because today, we treat God like a toy. We treat God like a toy. We play with him whenever we like. When we, we are tired of playing with him, we say, Lord, look, now I'm tired. Let me be serious for one week. Because we treat him like a toy. So he's asking, what we do? do we know what we are doing? And now we are saved from Satan. Oh my God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Show me the God of Thank you, Lord Jesus. Do we know what we are doing? And now we are saved from Satan. Do we know what we are doing? And now we are saved from Satan. Do we know what we are doing? And now do we know what we are doing? Nowadays, it's difficult to worship God in church. Because when you try to turn your eyes, you will see breasts of women. Jesus, help us. It's difficult to worship God. Our, our own sisters have become traps. Have become traps that the enemy uses to distract the sons of God. Why do we wear clothes that expose our parents? The Bible says, Whomsoever that looks at a woman like he has already committed it. Oh, committed adultery. So, why don't I wear something that can protect my daughter? So that he will not fall. Jesus. Many years ago, I was somewhere in church of Google. We met some pastors. They, I think they were, they were in a camp or something. When they were there in the place, there, there was a woman was coming from the upstairs. And then they were sitting down. And then when she was coming, she was wearing like a night dress. The, one of the pastors says, we, we, we lasted after the woman. He said, no, it's not a problem. We are men. Oh, help us, Lord. It's normal. We are still sitting down listening to them. Do we even read our Bibles? Do we even read our Bibles? That is why dressing. Le pantalon. Dressing, you know dressing. Oh, who am para? Who am para? Is part of the standard of the holiness of God. I can give you the scriptures. Uh, First Timothy chapter two. First Timothy chapter number two. We can read verse nine if we have time. Right? Hallelujah. Amen. Let me just read it because. I don't want you to think I'm speaking my own things. First Timothy. Timothy, one at home. Chapter 2, verse number 9. Yes. In the same way, I want women to dress in decent clothing. Thank you, thank you. In this same way, I want women to dress in decent clothing. 
That is why I'm saying dressing is also part of the standard. That God wants his children to dress decently. We must not dress like prostitutes. I'm speaking scriptures. Let's read another scripture. Proverbs chapter 7. Because I don't want you to think I'm speaking my own things. Proverbs chapter number 7. We're going to read verse 10. Verse number 10. Thank you, Jesus. Proverbs number 7, verse 10. It yes. yes. And then a woman met him dressed like a prostitute. Thank you. A woman met him and was dressed like a prostitute. In other words, there are God's children in church. When God looks at them, they say, My children are wearing like Christmas. No, I'm speaking from things from the Bible. Thank you, Lord. Yes, the Bible says, This woman, she was dressed like a prostitute. Now I have a problem. It was a woman, a woman warning a son. She was warning a son. He was warning the son. He said, Don't pass by that woman. She's dangerous. Even the way she dresses, she dresses like a person. That is where the Spirit of God is asking. Do we know what we are doing? God comes to church nowadays. And he sees people dressing like this. So now, when a woman dresses decently, you are considering your fellow brother. Because you don't want him to fall by last. It's not just about you. Also protecting someone. Oh, protect anyone else. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Ah. Because this sin of lust. It is sin. It's sin. And it can prevent a person to enter the kingdom of God. Can I get? Can we read the book of Revelation? Book of Revelation, Kutulu. Twenty. Revelation twenty. Because I want you, I want scriptures to speak for themselves. Revelation twenty. Verse twelve. Verse number twelve. It reads as follows. Yes. And I saw the dead. Yes. Small and great. I saw the dead. Small and great. Standing before God. Yes. And the books were opened. Thank you. I saw people. Among the people. I saw the children. Oh my God. Jesus. Now I need to speak to the children. Because you see. Children will not be spared from the judgment. And the painful part. And the parents who the parents will not be there. But why And the reason why many children enter here. They were betrayed by their parents. So even on it means even on children. The way they dress has glorified God. Because I, in John said, I saw in heaven, books were open. Children were not excluded. They were there. The books were open. And people were judged according to God. Oh my God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I was telling God to spoke to me. 
will have one day. He said, Go, I want you to teach this children the way of God. Because I have the word. What time I was teaching them? We have a And I, I told them, Don't pray to each other on the Sunday. I told them, Don't pray in church on the Sunday. Because on that Sunday, there are angels monitoring everything I'm doing. I'm monitoring the When you die, they will not say, Oh, you are a child. They will open the books. See where you were praying. Have you not told? Church is a holy place. Social media will be teaching. Social media, 
One time I saw one of the children of God. I was doing some research on, on Facebook. And when I was using TV, I saw one of the persons I know. I said, no, this is the name. Yeah, account. I account. When I saw the things, yes, I account it, I went to the account. I said, my God. I am with him. My God. I am with him. So I called him. I, I'm a phone I said I was doing some research on Facebook. I research on Facebook. I came across your name. I saw things you posted. I saw things you posted. I saw things Those things, you, we can't mention them in sentences. They're just kidding. So I said, why are you posting those things? 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 No, it's not something serious. I said, what is important? I said, but do you know what the Bible says? I want to know my worry. He said, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Those things you are posting, don't only post that. The things in your heart, it's more than just an entertainment. I see that they to fail. It's too cool to fail. Amen. Now, I, I have another question that I'm asking myself. On a, on a put this way, put this up. You know, parents let me give you advice. Parents let me give you advice. And sometimes you need to check what your child is doing. Hmm. You must put your parents. You must monitor the students. So that when you are teaching them, you will know when they, are weak, they, are, they have weaknesses. But many parents, they don't care. They don't care. They don't care about the sons of the children. Jesus continued to cry because he loves the children. And he sees them going to hell. And he don't care. Jesus then asked him, Do you know what you are doing? Do you know what you are doing? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Do we know what you are doing? Just a few days back, a few weeks, I was talking to one sister. A few weeks back, Nabula is a swimmer. And you know, man of God. What's about Kanda with you? She told me she was, she was, you know, going every weekend to visit her boyfriend. I'm put out of where boyfriend came every week. So I told her, you need to stop living that life. She said, God, I don't think you understand. I don't think you understand. There is no one who can just marry you just like that. Hallelujah. Amen. There is no one who can just marry you like that. What if things in the bedroom are not working? Hallelujah. I'm going to Hallelujah. I don't remember the exact word I said. But here's where people need to understand. I shouldn't marry you. I shouldn't marry you. I can tell you what I can get from you. I must marry you. Because I love you. Not the benefit. No. The benefit. No. That's not love. Love. You marry someone or because you love the person. Even if you don't have the money. Even if you don't have any love. The fact that I love you. I will marry you. So but because we have many Christians. Who obviously don't know what they're doing. I will tell you many excuses for sin. For sin. Many excuses. Many excuses. The problem is this. But the problem is this. On the day of judgment, that excuse will give me. If you tell Jesus, that excuse, excuse me. You tell Jesus, I said, it was me that I was looking for. In any that is why I can't tell women to not live under pressure for marriage. 
Man of God was telling me, uh, I think it was last Sunday. Man of God, I was last week Sunday. He said, Ah, man of God, I had a dream about you. And the dream I had, and the Torah gave me that. You are telling me, Ah, I want to marry. I said, ah, Maybe it's my dream. I I don't know, maybe it's my dream. You know why I was talking like this? I am not under pressure. I am not under pressure. Because I've seen pressure. Destroying dedicated people. I've prayed with many, I'm still young, but I've prayed with many people before. I've prayed with many people. Dangerous people. Dangerous prophets. They, it, it happened one time. Very dangerous prophetess. The prophetess so they, they came to the place to look for prayers. So they were telling me, you know, the things she was saying. She was telling me a relationship with the same guy. So she was telling me the, the things that I was doing. I said, can I give you a prayer point? I said, when you pray, Pray concerning this. Say, God, if this thing is not from you, let it be cancelled. She said, Yes, man of God. When she was on the way with one of the women she was with, she said, That man of God is telling me nonsense. She, she got married. It was when she got married. The guy confessed. He said, I killed many people. I'm, I'm an elevated devil worship. I did not devil worship by LT. It got to a point where the guy wanted to kill the children of that woman. It means she, he wanted to kill them because they wanted the sacrifice there. Hallelujah. I've seen pressure. Oh, when you are dwelling under pressure, destroy many great dreams. Balling destroy because by a galina. So never allow yourself to be under pressure. My message is not too long. But I tell you so much. I'm about to close. What's all that? But there is a question that God has. Do you know what we are doing? Do you know what we are doing? If God does not bring you to a place where I'm saying this, you will say, ah, it's just another message. That's what you will say. If God does not bring you to what I'm saying, you will say, ah, it's just another message. You will say, ah, it's just another message. Amen. You know, by the grace of God, God sometimes uses me in the prophetic. So sometimes I speak to many people through what God is saying. So whenever I spoke to this pastor, he has a church somewhere. I told him, I prayed. Hallelujah. You got out of respect. He said, Ah, I hear you, man of God. But when he, he came back some years later, one year later, one year later, he said, Man of God, when you told me those words, I said, This man of God is crazy. Until the Lord showed me by myself the kind of pride I had. He said, I couldn't believe it. But God is speaking. He says, Ask my people. Do they know what they're doing? 